will now read the late VC's biography. He was born on the 8th of July 1939 in the village of Chitampu in East Nepal and enlisted into the 2nd Battalion, the 10th Princess Mary's Own Gurkha Rifles in November 1957. He was posted to C Company, the company he served in throughout his career. He deployed on operations during the Malayan Emergency, Borneo Confrontation, for which he was appointed as a member of the Victorian Order. On the 21st of November 1965, just 26 years old, Lance Corporal Rambadar Limbu acted with bravery and valour on the battlefield during the Corneo. He inched himself forward until he was seen, and a sentry opened fire, immediately wounding the man to his right. Rushing forward, he reached the enemy trench and killed the sentry, thereby gaining for the attacking force a first but firm foothold on the objective. He saw both men of his own group seriously wounded and immediately commenced to rescue his comrades. He crawled forward in full view of at least two enemy machine gun posts who concentrated their fire on him but was driven back by the accurate and intense fire. After a pause, he again started rushing forward. He hurled himself on the ground besides one of the wounded and called for the support of two light machine guns. He picked up the man who carried him without hesitation. He immediately returned for the other wounded man and the continuous aimed fire of their automatic weapons. His outstanding personal bravery, selfless conduct, complete contempt of the enemy and determination to save the lives of the men of his fire group set an incomparable example and inspired all who saw him. Finally, Lance Corporal Rambada was responsible for killing four more enemy as they attempted to escape. Honorary Captain GCO Rambada Limbu, VC, MVO, died on the 22nd of April 2023, aged 83. He is survived by his wife, Tony Mayer, three children, ten grandchildren, and one great grandchild. To them and their families, we extend our condolences. Ladies and gentlemen, firstly, I'd like to inform you that I have the great honor to re represent His Majesty the King, King Charles III, today and at Rambahada's funeral on Sunday. I have been informed that the King will be writing to Mrs. Puna Maya Limbu, so I will not be speaking on His Majesty's behalf today. But you should know how sad the king was to hear of Rambahada's death. He did, of course, know him from the time B.C. Saab was a Queen's Gurkha orderly officer. I am also here today, in particular, to represent the 10GR Association membership in the UK, although I know that I speak for the wider 10GR community. Rambada has always been in our thoughts. His VC was, in a way, the battalion's VC, and we all bask in the reflected glory of it. I 
We were so proud that one of our soldiers had won the BC and was awarded it in person by Her Late Majesty Queen Elizabeth II in 1966. The new soldiers always got to hear about it from the start of their career and it inspired them to strive to be as brave as BC Sykes, as he was always known to us. Kandahar was, therefore, a legend in his own lifetime. I knew him when I joined Tenjiar some 48 years ago, and I met him for the last time last year. It was a long and enjoyable friendship. You should know that they are thinking of you and wish that the next few days will not be too arduous. Like Grand Mahada, you should look to the Tenjiar Association as an extension of your family. We are here to help and support you just as we are for anyone in your position. Rambahada had a long and very distinguished career in the NDR, one that gives him and the regiment much attention and glory. May he rest in peace. Sasha, British Embassy in Nepal, and Director Dr. <laughs> Dr. Trust. I stand here today following the passing of Captain GCA Rambahada Lindu, BC, NDA, the 10th Princess Mary's Own Director of Life As I say, on behalf of the British Army, the Brigade of Gurkhas, his antecedent regiments, the war director of life is all units of the beginning. Of course, it's the actions of the battle found on the 21st of November 1965 has encouraged generations of his remarkable bravery and acquired his self sacrificial experience that have been an immense inspiration for generations of young Nepalis and has undoubtedly reinforced the global reputation of the German state. A pass on, heart for condolences to his family his community, and to all workers, past and present, who I know will be profoundly feeling his loss. It was my great honour 
to meet him on a number of occasions during my appointment here in Nepal. Always generous with his time and genuinely interested to know about current recruiting and the deployments of the brigade across the world. In turn, it was always fascinating to me to also learn of his time in service and particularly as a Queen's Gurkha Order Officer to her late Majesty the Queen. I know from reports that she was deeply humbled to have him by her side as she personally ordered him the Victoria Cross in 1966. However, I also remember him well for his humility, his great sense of humour. He was the epitome of the bravest of the brave and an all home of great debt for his loyal and highly recognised service to the Crown, Jai B.C. Sar. Also in my role as Director of the Gurkha Welfare Trust Nepal, I also have a statement to read on behalf of the Gurkha Welfare Trust. Rambahada's name is synonymous with the Gurkhas and the bravery for which they are renowned. He was the face of the initial public appeal for funds for Gurkha veterans back in 1969, which ultimately led to the founding of the Gurkha Welfare Trust. His image adorns many of the trust materials to this day. When the Trust opened its residential home in Dharak, the Rambahadalimu DC home, it was always an honour both the staff and the residents from Rambahada to visit. May he rest in peace. Thank 
to say thank you to all the families here for coming in and where to go without this course of rest and peace and give us strength to go through this difficult moment. Association will now come forward and lead the read. Thank you. 